Hello, I'm Alex Compton with Luminescence Photography in Pahrump, Nevada, where we specialize in capturing the true spirit of your loved ones in special occasions. So you just went out and spent a lot of money on that nice expensive lens. Why on earth then would you want to go ahead and put a filter on it? There's all different kinds of filters for varying different purposes, but they all have one unique feature is that they are very good at protecting your lens, not only from ultraviolet rays, but from harmful dirt and dust and particles that can get on there and scratch the lens as you're trying to get it off. You can start with something as simple, if you like, as a UV filter. Again, that one really protects the lens from the harmful UV rays. A skylight filter will do well to remove haze from your pictures. You can also use neutral density filters. They come in various different shades of gray. They don't necessarily add to any color. Then you've also got polarizing filters, which are very good for removing glare, but they also add a saturation in your color, sometimes a little bit unnaturally. However, you can alter the amount that goes on there. Other filters are designed for special effects. You can have different color filters to play with different lighting ambiance. You can get diffracting filters, which will create star patterns, uh, softening filters, which are very good for that glamour shot. Most filters are circular. They are designed to be put screwed right onto the end of your camera, and usually they'll have a screw end on the other end so that you can stack various different ones if necessary. So you could leave perhaps your UV filter on for protection, and then you could add the other filters for the effect. Bear in mind that the darker the filter is, the more it's taking away your light and it's going to affect your f-stop sometimes by one or two degrees on your f-stops. So you're going to either have to open up your aperture a little bit more or you're going to have to slow down your shutter speed and possibly even having to put it, your camera onto a tripod for the shot. If you are going for the circular type of filters which screw onto your camera lens, you might consider the purchase of an adapter ring. That way if you have more than one lens size, you can get the adapter so that one end fits onto that particular lens and a different size filter can fit onto that so you don't have to buy several filters for the same camera. They also make the square type of filter. It comes with a universal bracket so that you can slide the filters into a little place in the front and that way you can adjust it to any size lens that you would like. 